everybody, this is Orange, and welcome to my abyss, and welcome to my June 2024 manga haul. What an interesting month it has been for manga and whatnot. If you're wondering why I am dressed like this, I just got back from a um, anime convention, and I decided to, uh, I guess, keep in the vibe. You know, who doesn't want a little JoJo? Yeah, but right here I have a collection of eight manga. That's a little amount. I guess quick question for um, every other manga collector out there. Is anyone else's, like, um, Kodansha and, um, Kodansha and Seven Seas orders coming out, like, really slow? Like, I ordered, like, Witch Hat Atelier, like, volume 12, and, like, so many other, like, Kodansha vol and, like, Seven Seas volumes from, uh, from, like, Crunchyroll, like, months ago, and they haven't come in yet. Like, they're getting delayed, and I'm not getting told why. A little annoyed by that, but I got a lot of good manga here. Hopefully all the manga I ordered will actually come in eventually, because it is released, and I have seen it in stores, but... Oh well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yep, so I guess let's jump right onto it. Jump right on into it and show us what I got this month. First being Goku Raku Guy Volume 2. Still a very fun, good shonen. I'm very interested in seeing where this one will go. This one will be the one I follow. It's a it's a good time. I'm enjoying that a lot so far. And also I like how these we're on the second volume and it's already a pink theme. And I love I love pink on a manga cover, so I'm happy about that. And then below that we have D and Angel, Volume 1. This is like a classic, like early 2000s, like late late 90s, early 2000s, Magical Boy manga, and I am always a fan of Magical Girl Boy stuff. I actually have a lot of, like, issue ones of Magical um, Girl comics that I keep down here. You can't see them. Um, but this will be added to that, because who doesn't like it? And then Queen's, Qualium, Queen's Quality, Volume 19. More Queen's Quality, more good time. Fantastic series. So I suggest really picking it up. It is a bit long at this point, like, 19 volumes is quite a lot, but like I highly suggest it. If you like more action-y like shoujo, like this is exactly what you want. It is a very good time. Also with this like a fantastic job at drawing horror. It is really good if you want to get spooked sometimes because oh boy, it has some spooky things. And then below that we have a Kingdom of Quartz volume. Your volume. Yeah, volume two. Kingdom of Quartz volume two. I'm very interested in seeing where this one will go. I like the um, aesthetic of this series a whole lot. I like a lot of the elements. So I'm just, I just want to see where the ride goes. It, it's very interesting so far. I'm into it. And then below that, we have um, Par Panorama of Hell. This thing took me a year to get. If you have any Starfruit book, or Starfruit book orders and that haven't like come through and you like pre-ordered them like a while ago, I guess email them because like I, I normally have to to get my stuff. But like I, despite like the uh, a bit, bit of annoyance to getting this book to me, um, it was a really good job. I like, I like Anishihino. He. He's a fantastic author, I feel. I think his artwork, for some reason, like, really, like, a squick, squick... I hate the term squick, but it really, like, squicks me out. Like, a lot of his artwork just, like, gets me personally. Just how he draws. Like, ooh, I love it. I love it, though. D don't don't take me saying it squicks me or something wrong. I like how it looks. I think it is wonderful. And then below that, we have some, actually some stuff right here. Graphic novel time. We're going quick this time. Um, we have a Monster High Pride issue. This one's actually still in its uh, plastic wrap, but... I love Monster High, if you can't tell from my surroundings. Um, this is a, um, this is, this goes into the G1 lore, and I just thought it was just, like, a good fun time. Who doesn't like some Monster High Pride? I'm into it. And then, some stuff I actually have p picked up from the convention I just went to. Um, this was just, at, this was on sale. But Salt Magic. I've heard a lot of good things about this series, and I, not series, I heard a lot of good things about this one book. I haven't read it yet, I just got back. And I wanted to check it out, so I checked it out. From what I get, it's a, um... Like sort of a western series with like some a lot of like fantasy elements so i'm very interested in reading that one and i'm actually going to be putting it on this side because that's the side of the bed where i read things from and then i got this um magical prince of sky which is a um indie magical girl comic and i love magical girls and i'm very interested in seeing like what this one's about because i love my magical girls so dang much they're so important to me and the author of the series i actually got to meet her and she was very nice so i can't wait to check this one out yeah, so that's about it for me. <laughs> Yippee, hopefully all of my uh, Crunchyroll orders of, like, Kodansha, that, that um, Kingdom of Quartz volume I got off of Amazon, so that came in in a normal amount of time. So hopefully my Crunchyroll orders will come in soon. If anyone else is experiencing uh, shipping delays with their Crunchyroll stuff, uh, please tell me. I don't want to feel alone. <laughs> I feel so alone. Where's my stuff? I want it. I bought it. Where is it, guys? Where is it? <laughs> yeah, but thank you very much for watching, and you have a lovely night.